Sometimes when you record with a microphone into a separate recording device, say for example in this case we're recording with a lavalier microphone into a Zoom H1 recorder, you will end up with this situation where the audio records only to the left channel, nothing to the right channel. When you play it back, it only plays in the left speaker, like this. Here I'm recording with the Senken Kos 11D. It's a lavalier microphone, which is being recorded into the Zoom H1. If you have this situation and you're trying to find a way to make the audio play back in both speakers or both channels, this is how you do it in Audacity. Come up to the track up here and choose Split Stereo to Mono. You then see that it has actually broken it out to two separate tracks. I can highlight this track, go up to the Tracks menu, and choose Remove Tracks. Now when we play back, here I'm recording with the Senken Kos 11D. It's a lavalier microphone, which is being recorded into the Zoom H1. That takes care of that problem. You can now do any of the processing that you would normally do on your audio. If you want to compress, normalize, do some noise reduction, whatever it is, then you're set to go. If you need to convert it back to a stereo track, all you need to do is come up to Tracks, Add New, Stereo Track, come back up to this one. You select this track here, do a Command-C if you're on a Mac, Control-C if you're on a PC. Then select the stereo track, press home to go to the very start, then do a command V or control V to paste the audio into the new stereo track. Now it's actually playing the same thing back on both sides. I can then get rid of this track by highlighting it and choosing track, remove tracks, and now it plays back in both speakers. Here I'm recording with the Senken Kos 11D. It's a lavalier microphone, which is... And you're all set to go. For the regular subscribers, this is not the only episode we'll have this week. We actually have another thing in the works. I should be receiving a new camera, and we'll probably spend a little time talking about that later this week. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.